Hello, uh, my name is Chris Beckman. I'm the corporate chaplain for Ebenezer. And uh, I want to welcome you to these series of reflections um, we're doing during the time of COVID-19. Um, we're also doing a collection of worship services. So if you're seeing this and are wondering about uh, the worship services that we're doing, um, please reach out to your activity director or your executive director. Um, welcome. Today is the sixth version of our reflections, and I have kind of a, a golf-oriented title today, uh, and if that doesn't pique your interest, maybe the title will. The title of today's reflection is, I Can't Hit the Two Iron. You know, my kids are at home, as most of our kids and probably your grandkids are from school. School is off uh, till at least May 1st, if not the rest of the year. And just the other day, as it got really nice outside, my kids dragged my golf bag out into the yard. And before I knew it, they were casting out every club that they could get out of the bag. And of course, I rushed out, and I don't know that I was terribly generous with them. But when I got out there, uh, there was only one club remaining in the bag. And I asked my kids, I said, well, why did you not take this last club out? It's the shiniest one in the whole bag. And they said, I don't know, Dad. I don't know. And so I pulled it out, and it was the two iron. And uh, for those of you who aren't part of the golfing world, uh, very few of us can hit a two iron. It is one of these clubs that's nearly flat. And, uh, and my kids said, Dad, why is the club all shiny and as though you've never used it? And I had to confess that, honey, I can't hit the two iron. And most of us can't hit a two iron. Those of us from the golfing world wonder sometimes, why did we ever get a two iron in our bag? It's kind of become a metaphor for me uh, in this time of COVID-19. You see, a lot of us who are doing work this time, whether it's ministers or administrators or people that are trying to do work all around us, we find that a lot of the gifts that we bring to the world are not able to be used at this time. In my world, I'm used to doing worship in person. I'm used to doing one-to-one -one visits. In fact, if I were doing this devotion, it would be in person. And instead, all I get to do is use technology, the two iron. And I don't know about you, but technology is not the easiest thing for me to do. In fact, it's a lot like my two iron. I can't hit the two iron. And yet here we are using technology to try to make a lot of these relationships go well. A lot of us ministers feel like uh, a lot of our gifts aren't getting used and we're struggling to find ways to connect. How many of you have found it difficult, if not downright awful, trying to do worship over streaming or even watching the DVDs that we're producing here? And I think of like my friends in AA or in the Greece support groups or any of the programs that are trying to do it across Zoom. And how many of us are struggling uh, to make connections one-to-one -one with each other? We're struggling because a lot of our connectivity is done person-to-person. -person. And technology, for all of its gifts and wonder, is a very difficult thing for a lot of us to make work and to make efficacious, and to make a beautiful relationship building activity. One of the things that we're aware of is that we're doing the best we can in this awkward, difficult, painful time. I'm sort of curious to find out whether some of the things that we're creating now, these devotions, our worship services online, these phone trees that are popping up in our churches and our homes, and our communities, whether any of them will have uh, this creative, lasting value. In fact, we don't know uh, some of the creative things that may come out of this difficult time and maybe things that we want to continue on in our lives. Uh, I told my bishop about this uh, metaphor of mine of hitting the two iron, and she thought it was quite good, I think. Uh, so much so that I had to go on Craigslist before the state was shut down by the governor. And I happened to find a two iron for her that I wanted to give as a gift. 
And you know what the ad said? It said, can you hit a two iron? Question, question, question. Most of us are struggling to hit the two iron, but maybe God and God's wisdom will give us some courage and wisdom and maybe even creativity as we seek new ways to make church and family and community with one another. Best of luck as you hit the two iron in this time of need. Thanks for listening.